guys, hope you're having a smashing day, lovely day today, great exposure. Today I'm going to be doing a video on exposure compensation. I've had a few questions posted, so I'm just going to respond to those questions with a video. So let's get started. Um, so yeah, we're going, to get, so we're going to be talking about exposure compensation. So a chap called Raymond Cook uh, messaged me about how to change or modify the exposure compensation. So this video is going out to you, mate. So uh, we're going to be talking about exposure compensation. And, you know, these settings are hit miss really depending on what you're trying to do but you want to play around them definitely so I've got I'm, I'm, I'm on this Canon 7D um, and I've got it in manual mode and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change a few things really so you want to you, what I'm just gonna be talking about is exposure really more than anything else so if I click on the Q button um, you've got something called exposure compensation AEB settings so if you click on that it gives you some um, some exposure digital exposure so for example if you're shooting in real bright light you can increase and decrease the exposure and what happens is the top wheel over here if I move that it opens up into three brackets so what it does it gives me three um, images that will be one dark one mid at the correct exposure and one that's above the correct exposure so it just basically gives me more exposure within the image so you can play around with that and you know sort of add or increase or decrease the exposure of what you're tr trying to do but what that is you're digitally doing that within the camera um, so I don't tend to use this for certain things but like if for example you do sports photography or you're shooting in sort of on a really sunny day and you want to decrease the exposure then that does be useful it is useful sorry um, then you've got this one over here which is your flash exposure so if you've got you on your hot shoe a uh, external flash and you're shooting ETTL and you want to add more exposure to the flash now sometimes these flash guns work extremely well but depending on where you are if you're in an internal environment you might want to consider about adding a little bit more exposure and this is this one you just basically hover the wheel like this and it will increase and decrease the amount of exposure that is captured through your flash gun so I would suggest if you're in a very low lit environment that you increase it to maybe to one and a half to two because it will just give you that little bit more exposure um, bear in mind that it will over, some it will it will give you a good exposure but you will need to change your white balance so say for example if you, you if you're shooting with a little bit more exposure through your flash gun and your exposure compensation then I would leave your white balance at auto but for example if you know that the, there's a yellow tint in the room like for example there's fluorescent lightings that are within the environment that you might want to change it to the tungsten white fluorescent tungsten light because what that will do is it will give you a more blue tint so in post you can sort of correct that a little bit more um, you know you, you you might end up with a yellow tint particularly if you're taking pictures of people so um what i what i tend to do is i tend to leave this on auto and if i add a bit of exposure so if i had like say maybe a one about one and a half when i'm shooting with a flash gun i tend to let the light bounce on a white surface so i, I sort of twiddle my um flash gun and sort of make sure it's, it bounces off a white surface or a or a colored surface if it's a if, if the environment's got like a yellow surface like it's got like magnolia walls then you'll get a yellow tint so you might want to play around then you might want to play around with your um white balance to ensure that you get the right uh, tone of image so yeah so that one there flash exposure and exposure compensation are quite important the other one is your um, aperture so you can you know, obviously, you know, you know from you know some other videos that if you've got a smaller number, it's a bigger opening. So you might want to decrease that to let more light in. But I wouldn't overdo that. To tell you the truth, I would leave it about 5.6 in an internal environment um, because you don't want to over uh, uh, um, expose your image. Um, apart from that, um, those are your settings for your exposure compensation. So it's them two really, and maybe your. your um, your white balance in con in connection with those two um, and that will give you some more exposure to your image now I wouldn't overdo it because if you add too much exposure then your pictures will be or your video will be overexposed and it's much more it's difficult to 
correct those images in post when they're overexposed it's better when they're underexposed because then you can sort of brighten them up and they're a little bit better but if they're overexposed it's very difficult to rectify those images so, so be careful that you don't overdo it and just when you when you're capturing is take review and if it's not any good then delete and re rechange your settings because obviously you don't want to overexpose on all your images without without continuous checking because then you're going to find that they haven't come out very well um what else what else can i tell you so if i go to my menu uh yeah you got you got a histogram as well so you got your histogram but that's not going to change any of your any of your settings really in terms of exposure um you can go into picture style so if you click on this button here and go to picture style or go to your q button so you go to your q button and go to uh standard and select a picture style so if i select that one for example uh, if I select that one go to info and then I've got some more exposure compensation things here as well so you've got contrast saturation and color so if you want to add more saturation select that and just literally just add more saturation if you want to add more contrast again just hover the wheel add more uh, contrast but again I personally wouldn't do all this. The only thing I would probably add is a bit more hot, um, sharpness. The reason why I say that is because you can do it in post. So if you're doing it in Lightroom or Photoshop or any other sort of editing software, you can sort of do those in post, and uh, you know you'll get a better, better, better render of that. So um, you can maybe do one or two and see how they look, but you know it's really, really, you know you don't want it because you might end up with sort of kind of not natural looking images but more digital so you might you want to be careful with those settings really okay so yeah so so those are the settings for exposure compensation any questions please do post and i'm happy to respond thanks for watching